Welcome to Invest. We're talking about investing, finance, and professional women. As the current time of 11.05 a.m. on the Eastern Time, Ethereum could trade $3,118, about 2.02% so far. Respect to over crypto market and the equity market, we are bright green today. Respect to Ethereum, up about 2.02% so far. While at the same time, Bitcoin is also in alignment as well. On the altcoin side, the house is a little bit more primarily upward, you know, knowing the fact that they're a little bit more price sensitive. And also with respect to the con two consecutive days of negative pressure uh, ahead of some of the inflationary numbers that's coming out, uh, coming out from the corporate earnings side of the house. Um, as investors are digesting some of the latest batch of corporate earnings, seems like the verbiage is not as pessimistic in comparison to you know Wall Street expectation or investment sentiment before, uh, driving um, a, a rally that we see across the whole entire market. And also on the equity side, on Dow Jones, S and P five hundred, and Nasdaqs are all up respectively about one point two five percent. And ultimately, the technical has been indicating. Um, you know, a bullish trend uh, because of the downward wedge that we've been forming. So the pattern seems like it's been, you know, coming true so far. So everything is intact. So what's next now, right? What do we see going forward in terms of a foreshadow perspective on the technical front? So let's just dive right into it without wasting more time, right? So right now for Ethereum, you can see that clearly we broke up through the wedge that we were forming before, and now we're heading to the next level, you know, from the previous level that we were at, which is 3000. We broke through to 3050, which is exactly the level you see right in front of us, right? But again, that's not a real level. The real level is 3158, right? You can see that clearly we're about $25 below it. At the same time, you can see that with respect to the RSI and MACD, let's just double click to make sure that we correct. We are at the 50 out of 70 right now because of the green pressure. But a good thing is that with respect to the MACD, we are gliding and plateauing. But showing some signs of curvaging up right now, like you know, feel free to correct me if I'm not you know mistaken. It seems like we're curving up and as we curve up and cross up, that's a golden cross and that means breaking through 3158 and then subsequently to the 3350 on to continuing the bullish trend will make a lot of sense so this is like an early inning of the you know downward wedge that we've been talking about coming into fruition so congrats on the ones that follow through the logical frame of reference uh by desync logically at the 2850 uh, level that we'll talk about Respect to Bitcoin about 2% uh, in similar fashion, downward wedge coming up right now. R right now we're levitating, right? The real level we need to get up to is somewhere around like the 42, right? Right now with the 41,600, not there yet, right? We're still like a little bit uh, slightly below, similar to how Ethereum is acting right now, 50 or 20 bucks below the real level we need to get up to. Right now, the 40 out of 70 curving up right now. So it seems like the momentum is still bullish. Um, as we curve up, it will form a cross section and then subsequently leap up to the 44 and ideally even to 46,500 from here. With respect to Ethereum, about 2.7%. Uh, right now, the 46 out of 70 curving up. Um, this is like a downward wedge being, you know, coming to fruition, surging up right now. So um, do we see more negativity going forward? I think maybe not in the near term because of the curvature that we're forming across the spectrum and also how many resistance levels that we have had formed as we were hitting to the 42 out of 70 levels. So Ethereum Classic seems like it's a relatively bullish one at the moment. Respect to Dogecoin up about 2.5%. This is a head and shoulder pattern, right? It's a head, shoulder, shoulder. Um, at the moment, a 53 out of 70. Um, I would, you know, be cautious about this one. I think um, it's been quite funky in terms of the cross section that we've been forming. You can see that we cross up, touch this, cross back down. So I don't really like it. It's, it's, it's like acting quite funky, to be honest, right? So per personally, if I was to buy in, I would not really touch this until 11 cents below from here. With respect to Cardano, I like anywhere from basically uh, 85 to 75 from here. Uh, in respect to Solana, up about 8% so far. Um, it's surging up because of the um, the resistance level that we formed prior at the 100. You can see that we clearly bounced from 100 and then subsequently surge up to the next level. But right now we're levitating, right? 106 is not real. 105 is not real. 
is a flat number we at right now. 112 is real. So we have to wait until we get there. At the same time, with the 50 out of 70 curving up right now. With respect to XRP, up about 5% so far. Uh, anywhere from 69 to 57 is logical. But I like anywhere from, you know, if you look at the consolidated level, 62 below is much better. With respect to Polkadot, about 6.31% so far. 45.59 right now. Uh, curving up, I think we are about to search up to the next level of the 1950 all the way to somewhere potentially $22 from here. In respect to Algorand's up about 5.5%, uh, anywhere from, I would say, current level all the way down to 67 But if you want to be more precise, 72 to 67 is logical. In respect to Shiba Inu, um, 2100 1400 900 from here. Respect to MAC tech up about 1.6%, 142 to 120. Right now is a logical level to DCA. Um, anywhere current level down to 120 is still fair game. AVAX up about 3.2%. Anywhere from basically 59 to 50 based on the current setup. This seems a little funky going on right now. Um, we're levitating uh, around the consolidated level of 80 because it's a flat number. Um, but in terms of the propensity of going upward, I think we might because of the cross section about to form. And then ideally, like resistance at the $92 level is very logical from here. Luna is up about 4% so far. We could see that clearly we're about to form a cross section upward. We bounce harshly from the 75, which is exactly what we talked about. Um, would I be buying now? I would say, um, what's the likelihood of actually keep going up? We are at the next resistance level of the 94 right now. Uh, the next level we need to get up to would be 110. Obviously, we encounter something around 100, um, but the real level is 110, so I'll be cautious about this at 52 out of 70. So it seems like it's a bullish market today uh, with respect to the digestions on the corporate earnings reports um, on indicating foreshadow of the inflationary pressure. But obviously, you know the rates are still going to be spiking going forward. The recession fear is still not subsided yet. So no need to be too happy or too like optimistic yet, right? I think ultimately people are having that kind of pendulum of emotions. Like some days very positive, some days very negative. Today we are on the positive side of the pendulum. Um, so definitely still be cautious and not be too uh, you know fully confident yet. Um, it is still a lot of question marks that we need to fix, right? And respect to the next catalyst that we should be foreshadowing would be like the FOMC meeting that's coming up in May, which can be a needer driver. And also with respect to a subsequent CPI report as well, right? So keep you I keep keep you guys updated as it keeps going going forward. And let me know if you have questions. Take care. Bye.